Stand firm in your faith. Isaiah chapter 7 verse 9b. If you will not be able to stand firm in your faith, then you cannot stand at all. There are many things that must and will threaten your faith. Listen, your Christian walk with God, a lot of things will threaten you. A lot of troubles will come. A lot of problems will come. You will encounter challenges, but make sure you don't throw away your faith. Enti, mafa yesu, mafa yesu, mini nyami nenam, mi isum nyami isumo di naf, until you go through persecution, until you pass through tribulation, you cannot be promoted. Can I tell you this? I mean, a lot of things are going to threaten your faith. You are going to encounter challenges like a Juma Samunye, Sika Samunye. You cannot pay your bills. People will reject you and disappoint you. In fact, if you don't know, with boldness and authority, I can even tell you that sicknesses can threaten the body. But like Paul said, what can separate us from the love of God? Sister, if you are serving God, bro, and something can threaten your faith, for you to say, me, my son, you were not called by God, you called yourself. At a point in the Bible, there were prophets and men of God who did not have food to eat. The question is, where was God then? You meet challenges and you start complaining, talking, nagging. Sister, there were men who were more anointed than you. Ebimu rezi cripples. Ebimu bompaye ma insu anto. A real boy, a bimukle to be stopping a day, a whole day, mukonechi, one day reverse. Sometimes they didn't have what to eat, yet they were holding on to their faith. Where is your faith? Where is your faith? And some of you, as we sit here, you may not talk and profess, but inside your heart, you have been speaking against God. A day, my bread. Nyami sum so kreson fasoni say, a day. Sometimes you are even tempted to give up. But I'm not I was sent by God to tell you that stand firm in your faith. Amen. Some of you sit here, the little problems you have, you have already given up. For church, you have come, but inwardly, you are broken. Questioning God is not a problem, but walking out of his presence is the problem. And that is why David encountered many problems, but said, I will not leave your presence because your presence, there is liberty and freedom. So sometimes you can question the fairness of God. God is okay, but trying to doubt there is no God, it is only a fool that says that in his heart. Don't throw away your faith and the confidence you have in Christ. Why? Because it has a great reward. Okay? I came to encourage you on one word. Stand firm in your faith. If God cannot fix it, nobody can fix it. And if you are to walk out of his presence, then I am telling you that you will encounter the devil himself and he will welcome you. And what the devil will do, it is better you stay in God and suffer than to meet the devil for you to die. And some of you are similar to you are waiting for God to intervene, but he hasn't. I came to tell you that many are the fleshings of the righteous, but God has the ability to deliver them out of all. Yeah. Regardless of the challenges and the hard times you are going through, keep holding on to faith. Why? Because if you leave faith, you'll be faithless. Some of you, as I'm speaking to you, it looks as if God has delayed. But he sent me to tell you that there are seasons and there are times. You know, when it comes to season, that is when people enjoy. When it comes to time, that is when God prepares. Time does not limit God. He rules over time and seasons. So when God decides that in time, his time, he wants to make it beautiful, it becomes your season. Wow! I don't even know. It is because you are in your season. So God sent me to tell you that He is just sitting, calculating the time. And in time, He's looking out for a season. One day, He will strike with your breakthrough. And nobody can understand because He's able to do exceedingly abundantly. Oh God. Me, I have cried before. I 
am sure that you have cried before. But I came to tell you that your tears and the days of your tears, God is about to end it. Amen. But oh, that will take God to end it. Is that hold on to your faith. Stand still. Because if you throw your faith away, you can't stand at all. I came to tell you. Listen, the end of the wicked is like a vapor. And the glory of the righteous is like green grass. When God starts raining on your grass, sister, people look at you and wonder, how did you do it? And that is where your testimony comes. When God turned away the captivity of the people of Zion, they were like, damn, that were dreaming. Hold on to your faith because God is about to turn things around. But as long as he is alive, master, something will happen to our destiny. See, there is something about time and season. When it is about God's time, he makes all things beautiful. And your problem is when, when. But you see, when it comes to when, the power of the Holy Ghost shall come upon you. You are not the one to understand how you shall receive conception. When it is God, he knows how to impregnate you. Listen, one miracle will mute your enemies. Listen, you cannot be a master of faith and you don't know what we call positive confession. Because the words we speak are spirit and they are life. And that is why in times of hardship, you don't even have to say what you see. You say what you are about to become. Anybody you meet that talks about yesterday is not somebody who is fit for today. Because by their words, they can blind you from tomorrow. And listen, if God cannot feed you, what you have cannot feed you. I came to encourage you, stand firm. Don't give up your faith. Sister, if God cannot stop it, your strength is nothing to stop anything. Now, hey, I want day. And the a promotion does not come from the east. Promotion does not come from the north. Promotion does not come from the south. Promotion comes from above. Until you are lifted by God, no man can lift you. And I came to tell you one word. Sister, stand firm. Hold on to your faith. God is about to do something extraordinary with your life. But the problem is that your faith is gone. No! Even though my beginning is a little, my end shall greatly increase. Do not despise little beginnings. Why? Because faithful is he who has promised and he will do it. Has he said it and will he not do it? For he is not like a man that will say a word and repent of the word. I came to tell you this. This week God is about to do something extraordinary. Now we will be Nani friendi anani teso mani ye ya sister why ye ye did that they that call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. He told the answer, Abba Father, have mercy on me and no one will listen to me. Try it once again and see the results to be good. Hold on to your faith, stand still because if you are to throw your confidence and your faith away, you cannot stand again. Thank you.